guys, I'm just going to show you a quick tutorial on how to download a four-player mod for Divinity Original Sin. Uh, let's get into it. So, we are going to go to Nexus Mods. Uh, I will put a link in the description so you guys have that. Um, it's really easy. Uh, the mod that we're going to be downloading is Foreplay. You just go over here and hit download manually. You do need an account to download from this website. So we're going to go do that. Go right here. Uh, create an account. Register. And right here they have some premium memberships you can buy. But you don't have to worry about that. Um, it's just if you want to I think support the site but it's completely free so don't check anything just hit create account uh, fill out all your information you will have to validate it will send you an email uh, once you are done validating your account then you can log in at that point you can download the mod um, depending on where your file path is uh, for the download it may end up in different areas. For me, it would be uh, in downloads. Uh, it is a compressed file, so you will need a program such as WinRAR to open it. I will get you a description, sorry, a link in the description on how to download that. It's very easy. You just hit download right here. So you're going to, once you have it in this uh, program, you go, are going to want to extract it. To go extract. Uh, for me, it's in local C, programs. I'm gonna go into Steam, Steam apps, common. Can see a uh, Divinity Original Sin data, and you just want to put it in right there. So once you have that file path, you're just gonna want to hit OK. After you do that, should look like this in the file. Um, then you're pretty much uh, done installing. So if you didn't screw that up. Should be able to just launch the game. Now you're going to want to go into mods. Uh, like I said, if you didn't screw that up, it should show up in your mods for play. Just check it and activate. And I create a new game just to show you. Loading for play one and two. Loading. Okay. Uh, so you go ahead and create your first two characters. Um, I'm not now. I'm not positive on whether your friends will be able to join in at this point. I know the the second player should be able to. Um, but I'm not sure about the other ones, so let's just go accept. That's fine. Uh, now these are the two other characters. Uh, you should just be able to customize just like any other one. So that's whatever. You can even go change their uh, skills, points. Just hit accept. In the days of old. Okay. And there you have it. Four players. Um, now, I don't have someone in my game right now, but if when you do have four play people playing you, joining your game, 
you can hit assign characters um, you can swap swap whatever characters you want the player to be assigned with uh, and that's it I hope this uh, tutorial was helpful for you in figuring out how to set up a mod uh, to play four player See ya.